Internet, Cody here. And I am Cody's wife, here to remind you to like, comment, and subscribe to Cody's channel. You're the best, Danny. <laughs> yeah, so today we're going to be working with uh, Vue.js DevTools alongside Electron. You know, just kind of continue this application we're working on and just build like a solid foundational uh, dev environment. So, what we're going to want to do is go to our project and we're going to want to run this command npm install save dev to make the dev dependency view dev tools but the key is actually to add this little at beta and so at beta is what gives us like the latest version of dev tools so here you can see it's version 6.0 beta.20 um and we got a view dev tools uh, their 6.0 version supports Vue 3. Um, you know, this Electron app is utilizing Vue 3. So, yeah, before you look over at their documentation and recognize, hmm, they don't actually recommend that, um, just know that that's what you need if you're running Vue 3. If you're running Vue 2, you don't need that beta. Okay, so you're going to run this command. And then what we want to do, let's look over at the documentation. So it tells us to install it. We just did that. And now you can use the global the package globally, or you can use it as a dependency. So I like to just kind of package my projects in. Um, you know, so I, I don't have to worry about like where is that tools appearing. I can just look at my package JSON, understand how to enable it, you know, it's, it's future proof. So, once you installed, you can run this command right here to run it. So let's run that. And we'll see what happens. So it says here, we're waiting for a connection. Uh, so we actually can ignore this because we're working in a local development environment. So what we can actually do is import this line into our main where we're inserting, where we're creating a Vue.js app. We're going to put that right here at the top. Make sure it's above any form of, uh, just make it the first line, if possible, before any view logic occurs. And then we connect to host. So we have this, if process.m.nodem is development, dev tools connect. So this actually go, this can actually give you some like remote hosting um, functionality as well as like changing the port you're working on. Uh, for, for this tutorial, we're not going to go into it. Um, but I will link some like documentation where we can read further. So one other thing I do is instead of having this funky node modules that bin that I have to remember, I actually go into my package.json and I, I put that command directly into my script so I have a dev tools. So now I can just run npm run dev tools. Boom, we got a dev tools. And now waiting for connection, and now we're going to run our development environment, our Electron app. So now we have Electron, and if all goes accordingly, now you can see we have our dev tools. Pretty neat, huh? So I'm sure if you've been developing with Vue for a while, you'll know that this is, um, you know, you'll know why this is nice. But you, for example, here we can just edit our state. It instantly recognizes Pinya, um, you know, there's Pinya stuff, and yeah, you can just get deeper, but I'm not going to really go into DevTools today. Uh, I just wanted to help you hook it up with your Electron plus View app, um, and so yeah, hope you enjoyed. Take care.